Hi, as you guys know, I missed yesterday's video, so I'm making it now. Okay, look at my hair, oh my gosh. And yes, I'm wearing the same scrubs. I do wash my scrubs, please understand that. I'm not, I keep, I, I have limited clothes because most of my clothes are summer clothes and it is winter. Because all of my regular clothes are packed away, so. Get used to seeing the same things. Let's begin with chapter 10 of 1 Corinthians. Um, did I read chapter 9 yesterday? I don't know what I meant yesterday. I think I'm reading chapter 10 today. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers are under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them, as it, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happen unto them for ensamples, and they were written for our admonition, admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Therefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, lest he fall. There hath no temptation taken you, but as is common to man, but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also, also, makes, also make a way to escape, and ye may be able to bear it. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. I speak as to wise men, judge ye that I say, the cup of blessing which we bless, it is not the communion of the blood of Christ, the, blood, the bread which we, which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body, and we are all partakers of that one bread. Behold Israel after the flesh, are not they which eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altar? What say I then? that the idol is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should be, have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the, the table of devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Of course not. In fact, God says that he is a jealous God. And even though God is sinless and Christ is sinless, I honestly don't want to know if we, what God could be if we push him to the breaking point of jealousy. I don't want to find out, so I suggest we not make God jealous. 
So put down your idols. Choose one or the other. Choose your idols or choose God. We all live on the fence, but we, I mean, we're human. We live on the fence. I mean, no one is like on this side. Everyone, everyone is either on this side or on the fence, but no one can really be on this side unless you're really in tune with God. Now, I could be wrong. I, I, I could be completely wrong, but um, God understands. But he also doesn't want you to like live freely thinking that, you know, he isn't a jealous God, because he is. Hello, Oliver. Are you, are you here to bug us? <laughs> he looks so weird backwards. Like, you have a hideous stash. Anywho. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh. Olive. Move. Anywho. Where were we at? Okay. Abyss 23. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things I, I defy not. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles that eat, asking no question for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. If any of them that believe not bid you to a feast, and yet be disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you eat, asking no questions for conscience sake. But if any man say unto you, this is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that showed it, and for conscience sake, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Can you guys see me when I look down? I can't tell. Do you see the, the top of my dirty head? <laughs> My hair, I wash my hair, okay? I don't know why I have to, like, explain myself. I just look so ugly. Like, oh my gosh, my hair is just not working. Yes, Olive, you're not going up there. You're staying down here so I can finish my routine. <laughs> just my hair isn't brushed. Oh, well, it's awful. It looks like it's unwashed. I swear I wash my hair. It just looks... Why am I telling you this? I'm reading the Bible. Get down! No. Conscience, I say, not thine own, but of the other. For why is my liberty judged of another man's conscience? For if I by grace... Okay, but what? For if I by grace be a partaker, why am I evil spoken of for that for which I give thanks. Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all in the glory of God. Give none offense, neither to the Jews nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God, even as I please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. All right, that was the end of this uh, chapter 10. I apologize again. Also, I, I'm on my second Red Bull, so I'm really hyper. I'm jittery. Oh, shoot, my thing's about to go out. Bye, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm running out of room. Bye.